Hey, let's make a brain in a lab and hook it up to the power system of an entire city because I cannot think of a single comic book where that went wrong. Anthony here for DNews, and the US power grid has been called the world's largest single machine. Complex electrical lines, 200,000 miles of connections, all transmitting power across the country. And it is so bad at it. Most of the equipment that's in use right now is from the 60s or earlier, and our power stations are made to generate power at a constant rate and send it down all its lines equally. They're not good at switching things up on the fly. Say one area of town needs more power than another, or we all need the most power at once. It's not so good at regulating and rerouting that. It can't anticipate when we'll have heavy and light weeks. It can't store energy in anticipation. And for all those miles of redundant power lines on the grid, in 2003, 50 million people lost power in eight states because one power line in Ohio got hit with a tree branch. Our power system just couldn't find a way to reroute around the broken connection. If we could make the power grid 5% more efficient, we would save the energy equivalent of taking 53 million cars off the planet. We desperately need something to control the grid better, to roll with all the variables. Hey, you know what existing equipment monitors and controls a vast electrical system, constantly evaluating changes in need and switching tons of things up on the fly? The human brain. Our whole nervous system is one big power grid. So a team at Clemson University is working on hooking a human brain up to our power system. Well, part of a brain anyway, uh, neurons. The team grew some in a lab in a Petri dish and then connected them to a computer that is simulating a power plant. And they trained the neural network to recognize voltage and speed signals from the power plant and boom, started doing work, doing brain things optimizing connections. The team thinks that they are two years away from having an itty bitty jar brain that they can demonstrate to the utility companies. And if the utility companies are more impressed than they are creeped out by living machines, we could all have Petri dish brains controlling our local power in 10 years. I am so bugged out by this. And I am also so in love with this. I don't, I am so torn. For some reason, I have no problem with the idea of getting some sort of like machine implant in myself, but organic machine? Machines have always just seemed icky to me. There is something weird about growing a living brain just to run a light switch. I would rather wait for artificial neural networks to catch up. How do you guys feel about this? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News. <laughs>